Hey YouTube, I've just got back from a rainy wild camp in Epping Forest. Before I roll the footage of that, I wanted to talk briefly about what happens when I get home and I've got rainy, uh, wet gear and I need to try and dry it out. And particularly, I live in a one bedging flat in London and um, therefore space is uh, at a premium and it is difficult to dry out the, uh, the equipment. I wanted to mention it because one, I thought it'd be interesting, but two, and mainly, I want to break down any barriers to entry that you might be feeling in respect to wild camping if you're thinking about doing it but like see some kind of issues in actually getting into it. So I want to tell you that provided you've got a little bit of space and provided you've got a little bit of time and provided you've got a reasonably supportive wife or partner or whatever, then it's uh, not too much of a hassle. So this is basically how I do it and what I've done, which is unfold all of the wet gear, tent and ground sheet and leave it unfolded in the living room. Now, Mrs. Skurlock is <laughs> very um, supportive, thankfully, so she doesn't mind too much, but I do need to be careful to clean away all of this kind of like detritus. Anytime I shift it around to get like, to allow other wet areas which haven't dried to dry. Um, note that these get opened up as well. Uh, and the bag with the tent pegs is down there as well. That's because the tent pegs are wet and the poles are wet and the bags themselves are wet, so they all need uh, to air out. Now, when um, I stop recording, I'll open up a window so that the humidity doesn't get too bad, but you can see I live on a busy junction, so right now, that's not such a good idea. Anyway, I thought that might be interesting, but maybe it's not. Uh, one thing I would say is just be careful because you can get um, I've told Rachel that um, this doesn't happen, but it can happen. So surprise, Rachel, if you're watching, and I know you do watch, so surprise. You can have little bugs crawl out of this, so you just need to keep an eye out for that and uh, dispose of them humanely uh, at the window into the traffic uh, if that does happen. Anyway, so <laughs> I think we should just proceed now to the footage. For breakfast, I have these overnight oats. It's a mix of oats and brown sugar and cinnamon this time. And I pack it in dry and add water before I go to sleep. And then overnight the oats hydrate and just becomes really tasty in the morning. But it's very easy, uh, very tasty, but also very filling. Highly recommend it. This is outside of the tent. And um, through there, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually a lot more open than I usually go for uh, when I'm selecting a site. Where I camped last time is actually somewhere up there. You can kind of see how you have to head quite far into the trees and overgrowth, undergrowth, undergrowth, uh, to actually get to there. And usually that's where I'd prefer to camp because it's harder for people to see you. But I figured I'm perhaps being a bit overcautious and I'd rather go for somewhere nicer. Anyway, this is the Helm 2. You can see that it really did get rained on last night. I think you can see. I can say <laughs> that it definitely got rained on last night. Uh, it's going to be a joy to pack away and um, <laughs> then dry out in a one bedroom flat. I might show you a separate like video of just what that looks like and I think that might be a by way of thanks to my wife for <laughs> allowing me to uh, to do that but it's really really nice um, obviously has rained a fair bit and continues to rain every now and then and obviously water dripping off of the trees as they blow but it's really really nice this is a good camping spot. You can see um, just outside of like the mesh that the kind of like raindrops and that means absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I thought it just looks kind of cool, especially with this mesh here. Um, but when I woke up, that's where I was sleeping with my head there. And there's the mesh and there was a slug just right across here. Me looking up at the slug, looking down at 
me. Um, I wish I'd got it on video, but I didn't. But it was just a matter of just like tapping this and he tumbled down and somewhere down there, I'm sure. But um, yeah, thought that was funny. So part of the point of this trip was that I wanted to go camping when I could be guaranteed that it was going to rain and possibly rain quite a bit. Um, partly because I thought it would be fun, but also because I wanted to test the helm too, just for giggles. Like, that's literally it. I just thought it would be nice to go camping in the rain. And, um, yeah, it was really, really nice. Really pleasant evening, all the way up to um, about midnight, maybe a little bit afterwards, when it first started raining. And thereafter, it was non-stop all through the night. And probably towards the early hours of the morning, it was uh, really heavy. No wind or, like, not stormy conditions, but just really strong rain. You can hear a little bit of it now. It could just be a splatter of the trees as the wind blows. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was, um, it was just kind of fun being ensconced in a tent, uh, hearing the elements outside, but feeling kind of like secure in, in the tent, in the sleeping bag. I um, <clears throat> finally purchased a pillow, which I'm so pleased with. <laughs> it's made all the difference, as opposed to um, like screwing up a puffy jacket into a uh, Sainsbury's um, reusable bag and <laughs> using that. That's not a good idea. I do not recommend it. So I've had breakfast. I've um, enjoyed the rain. Um, I'm going to pack things up now and um, just mosey, or, mosey on around in the woods. It's kind of cool. I just wanted to give you a, a quick update on a couple of things while I'm in the woods and before I head back into, into the world. Um, the first is uh, following my last video at the sheep farm. Um, I've actually started a men's group uh, through the NHS. It's called um, Time to Talk. It's something which is available to Greenwich and Lewisham residents. Um, and and I, you can self-refer, but I accessed it through, the, um, through my GP. And I have to say that it's really, really good. I was dreading it when I first started it, or was about to start it, and when, I was first, when it was first suggested to me. But it's really, really good. Um, it's helpful to have a space every week. We, we meet uh, once a week for an hour and a half. Um, and it's really helpful to have a space in which to talk about things which you might not necessarily realise are on your mind, but actually are. And it's an environment where people do really listen and respond, and you have the opportunity also to listen and respond to things that are on their minds. Um, it's just really cool, and it's helping a lot. So again, constant message. If you're having any trouble, if you need to talk to someone, um, always do reach out to people. But those people can be friends, um, but they can also be uh, more formalized structures for offering help when people need it. Um, and if it's daunting, the idea of going into a men's group, uh, as it was for me, I can say that um, from my experience, it was a very easy thing to get going with and it's been extremely helpful and um, a really positive experience. So 
yeah, that's one of the things. The other is that um, <laughs> you may have seen from one of my previous videos that I um, was clambering around on a tank whilst at the same time giving a, a video question to Hayes Outdoors. And I'm really, really pleased to say that Hayes actually um, featured the question or at least addressed the question on one of his videos. Um, you may have seen it, you may not have seen it, but what I'll do without trying to get to Inception is show you a video of uh, my video inside of a Hayes video. So inside this video is going to be a video of my vid inside this video is going to be a video done by Hayes, which included my previous video. However, it works out. In any event, I'm really, really pleased to have got onto uh, Hayes, uh, Hayes's uh, channel. Uh, I don't know why it's such a milestone for me, except that um, Hayes was one of the huge uh, influences for me in terms of just getting out and getting camping and that connection between camping and uh, mental health and having good quality mental health, uh, or at least maintaining um, your mental health. Uh, a lot of words to say, not a lot, but the, the point is that I got featured, I'm really pleased with it. The answer wasn't quite what I was expecting, but at the same time is entirely consistent with Hayes, uh, I would say. And um, so I've got to say thanks so much to Hayes for, uh, for answering the question and Joey D and to, um, to suggest to you that you go check out the, the, the video and I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description below. So thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks so much for anyone who takes the time to comment below. Really appreciate every single one of them and I try to respond. In fact, I do respond to every single one of them because A, there aren't that many and B, <laughs> when I put out a video, I um, obsessively check to see view counts and uh, comments because it's just exciting. I like lock picking. I like camping. But what I also really like is YouTube and making videos on YouTube and doing that whole kind of thing. It's just fun. Um, so that might be another thing that I recommend to you, um, which is to, if you're thinking of, um, if you feel like you have something to say or you think it might be fun to do YouTube videos, just do it because it's really good fun. The barriers to entry aren't that high. Um, they're not high at all really. Most of my videos were once upon a time shot just using an iPhone and uh, like one of those cheap little um, tripods and you can do videos on YouTube just doing that. Uh, and many people do have you know successful channels off the back of that. So anyway just give it a go if you fancy giving it a go or you think it might be interesting or whatever because it is a really fascinating and interesting hobby in its own right producing content for uh, YouTube and um, engaging with people about that content and um, yeah it just feels good so anyway thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video <laughs>
YouTube. I've just got back from a rainy wildcamp in Epping Forest. Before I roll the footage of that, I wanted to talk briefly about what happens when I get home.